the neuro simulations, hollow games, and free orgies <laughs> were never enough for you. You wanted more, the grit and consequence of real life. They talk about in like they talk about in the history books. You wanted to know what real challenge and consequences feel like. Now, after a journey of decades in crypto sleep, man, that's a long time. You're landing on this unknown rim world. Real consequences await you. So let's start. First, we're gonna pause the game quickly. It's WASD to move around. I haven't even landed yet. There's my crypto sleep pod. Oh, there we go. And we have a dog named Corvo. Corvo. Okay. A uh, little quick explanation on this. All these objects with red X on them basically means that they're objects you can pick up, but you haven't picked them up yet. Um, as you can see, there's a couple things around the world. There's a couple logs that were already felled for us. Uh, I start with some food, gun, some iron, silver. This is gold. Uh, there's also a little bit of steel in the world around me. Uh, there's some steel deposits compacted steel uh, around me, so that's really good. Uh, there's this, which is a structure, as you can see, there's no sort of um, opening to start out with, but it might make a good base to start out with, as long as it's not filled with something absolutely horrible. So I will click on myself, equip charge rifle is just the first step, so I did stuff. Oh, we need some colonist beds. I'm going to go to the architect menu, orders. I'm going to deconstruct because this is a pre-existing wall. Right click to deselect. Unpause. Work mode. Set to do everything good, so I'm not going to touch that right now because it's only got one person. Wait to deconstruct if we're going to do it. What are you doing? You are. Link a mouse wheel in and out to. Scroll. Not deconstructing the wall. Uh, okay, so I'm here. Um, I'm going to use that as a starting area. That seems not so bad. So, pause quickly. The zone area, I'm going to make myself this small stockpile zone right here so I have a place to store things. What I'm also going to do is order the... Oh, what do we use for that? Forbidden. We need to toggle forbidden. How do I do, How do, I do this? I haven't done this in a while. All things. Okay, so I'll haul the one thing. Um, I guess if I want to unforbid all this, click on everything. See, hotkey is F for this, so we can go through. Get some stuff, of course. Already did that. And okay, now if we unpause, eventually we will decide. Oh, well, put some stuff in that uh, brand new shiny stockpile we made. Going to ladder haul a couple things before I say that we should probably build the bed, which is on the front of the Here, click on it once, decide what we want to make it out of. You can make that wood, because whatever. Uh, Q and E, rotate objects. I'm just gonna pop that in there. Escape, backs out. She's gonna decide, hey, beds are cool. Social bonds, R10. Gear. This is what I'm wearing when I quit. Character. Get to look at your character sheet again. Needs. Uh, this is a very important menu, as you can see. Mood's quite high. Uh, like Dwarf Fortress, you can get into rage spirals where everyone decides to start killing each other. This is always fun. Uh, their food needs, their rest needs, which basically is sleep, joy. They get bored, they rage. Beauty. I've never really had too much of an issue with that. Comfort is um, environment-based as well. 
space, uh, they'll start to go a little mean if you cram them <laughs> in a tunnel digging all day and never let them stop. Uh, they will stop on their own, but uh, they still like to get off certain duties once in a while, so it can be handy for you to take people around. Doggy! So, they're bonded already. Uh, there's no trading at all. By clicking on here, I'm going to say, attempts to obedience train uh, your dog, which is a female husky. Named Corvo, which is kind of cute. Uh, by clicking on obedience like that, you're saying uh, when you have the chance, attempt to do obedience training on the dog. This sort of uh, makes it follow our hero arc and uh, do stuff. Make some friends, sort of. Uh, so we're going to put in the wood door right here. Uh, you don't really have to rotate these, they'll automatically detect which direction you should be. You can also right click to stop doing the task so fast and hard to I don't want to place doors, this gets walls everywhere. You just right click to select moves and open up this game to close the menu. As you can see, this is an open space crowd. There's actually no brute fauna. Uh, There's no roof area. Oh, putting up a roof. Okay, this is, I guess, something new as well. Um, I guess they have to put in roofs now in previous versions. They would just sort of auto-roof an area. Now apparently uh, your survivors have to put roofs up, so that's new. Uh, essentially any area, open area like that is by default have a roof over it like the outside doesn't have a roof, obviously. Um, next important thing, food. We're gonna need food. Uh, I'm trying to pick a sunny open area already, so I have to deforestize things, but it looks like probably have to anyway. I'm gonna chop wood in roughly this area to start out with. As you can see, there's a couple trees and such inside that don't. Um, it's because they're not quite mature yet. Gonna get her to chop some wood and wait around for that to happen. If you want to lay out things sort of beforehand, I do remember there being... I thought there was a planner. Ah, yeah, okay, it's under orders for some reason. So if I'm going to say, uh, I just want to reserve like this area for growing, I can just put a plan down. It, all it does is basically put down uh, these little visual guides that tell you that you've probably earmarked this region for something else, and it's actually over the stockpile. So, remove a plan, take a little edge off, now they're not overlapping anymore. We're good. Continue to wait! Let's get up a little. Pause is spacebar. Super handy. It does take a while to do this stuff, unfortunately. Um, it's actually going to take so long so we don't die. We need to put down a growing zone to start out with. Nine by nine should be more than enough food for her. So, how do I set? Ah, okay. So they change the interface a little bit. Uh, by default, it's potato plant. Um, let's see, growing time, six days, lifespan, so I'm going to go with corn to attempt to make this go faster. Um, as we can see, uh, what day is it here, 11th of spring, so we've already lost a couple days on our growing. 
Um, it's really important to have enough food for the winter when you can't grow food. All you can do is hunt animals. It's not good to run out of food. Same thing happens in the game. You die in the real world, you die in the game. <laughs> you have to eat, you get sick. to deep plan remove the plan there we go it's no longer earmarked it's it has a purpose the other really fun important thing that we're gonna have to deal with eventually is power um, food spoils in the game so all that fresh food fresh food that you got is uh, Going to spoil if you don't do it. Uh, up here is Learning Helper. This, as you go along, it will detect things that, uh, or features of the game that you haven't used yet that are important that you're going to want to know about. In this case, telling me about time controls, saying keys one, two, three, not four. Control the time, and uh, basically controls how fast the game time goes. Uh, I have it on medium right now because everything's slow. Uh, telling me about the storage tab on the storage stuff. Storage. Yeah, I can control things. I see emails, emails. Basically, just cleared that out. You can control what gets stored in particular stockpiles. I'll get into this more later. Right now, it's night time. Um. Being as one of the next important things we're going to have to deal with is power and food storage. Um, I'm going to actually say that we're going to need a structure soon. Um, we don't have a lot of wood. Actually, what do we have? Some of. Up here is all the different stuff that I have. I have two I'm definitely not gonna build silver walls. I have three marble bricks and 36 wood. I don't have a lot of materials to build stuff out of, so it, well in terms of building. So I'm going to take advantage of this area over here so I can build long storage that is too many. Put in the door. This is, I'm going to use as a food storage area eventually. Um, we will need power and such before then. But for right now I'm gonna say it's good enough to block it off. Actually, I'm just going to zone that for food storage. So with that, I'm going to add a stockpile storage. I'm going to clear all, just say foods. Uh, everything is good enough for right now. So no more priority on there. In the main stockpile, I'm going to say no foods when we have a chance, we'll move that around. And she'll automatically move everything around. Saying, hey, I'm not paying attention to my alerts. Area revealed. This was the building that we first started out with. It'll alert you when you find things. Apparently decided that, holy crap, we have to build this now. Get some wood, build it up. You can see we planted a little bit of crops. Build up the roof and it's good. Probably also gonna want to cut some of the extra plants in this region to make space for more food. So she's just happy, planting long. She hasn't decided to move anything yet from one stockpile to another. Citizens will sort of decide where to do, or uh, 
how they'll decide when they want to do things. Uh, you can partially influence this based on their work priorities. This is set in simple mode. Basically, just says everything is the same priority ordered in highest to lowest. Um, you can get into more complicated mode by setting manual priorities with one person. It's not really required at the moment. I'll change it if I have to. Good music. By the way, if the sound sounds absolutely horrible, I'm using a webcam mic right now, and I'm not using headphones. Um, this is the first experiment. Why am I going to spend any money to do this? <laughs> Continue planting. This game has a lot of hurry up and wait in it, but it gets more exciting later, of course, with only one survivor. It's going to be a little a bit on the boring side. Hopefully we'll find some random events that will give us additional people. But we'll see, because I've never played this game mode before. I might be a horrible failure, and then I'll just restart, because I can do that. <laughs> 